Okay, the video that I'm going to show you today is how to make a handwritten signature as a um, file in Photoshop and then put it across your images so that you can use it like a signature on a, on a painting or something. As you can see here in the example, I've just put two images together and then I've just put the signature that I'm going to use across the two. So how do we start this? There's two ways. First of all, you need to have your signature as a JPEG image, which is what we've got here. Now, you can either um, scan it, so you can just have a piece of paper and then just put the signature onto a piece of paper and scan it and save it as a JPEG, or you can take the paper, do the signature, and then take a picture of it with a camera and again save it as a JPEG. So either way, you're going to be left with something like this. <clears throat> now, what I want to think about at this point is that I want my signature to be white because they generally go against an image with a very dark background. So in order to start working with this reasonably well, I want to make sure that the background is black. So first of all, I'm going to do Control and I, and that automatically inverts it. From there, what I'm going to do is I want to make the background nice and black. So I'm going to pull up the paint bucket tool. I'm going to set the tolerance here to 50 and then I'm just going to select black here. So black is on the foreground here. Go over to it, press click, left click with your mouse and then everything now has gone black. The next option I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop it. So I've got it the size I want and just rotate it so I'm working the right way around. OK, let's make it larger. Now, this isn't white. I want mine nice and white. So I'm going to do something very similar again that we've just done to make the image black. I'm going to select the paint bucket tool. I'm going to keep the tolerance to 50. And I'm just going to do this arrow here because I now want white as my foreground colour. So I just click on there and that has gone white. Now, what you can do, if you double click on the white there, you can select any colour that you want as your foreground colour. And... Just double click, one click, and there it is. So any colour that you have here set as your foreground colour is the colour that your signature will become. OK, so from here, save that, and then that is the basis for your signature. What I've got here is I've got an image that I want to put the signature onto. So go back to the signature or open it. Press Control and A because that selects the whole image. Control and C, that now puts it onto a clipboard. Open your image and press Control and V. And what that does is it pastes it, as you can see down here, there's another layer, and that is your signature. <coughs> what we don't want at this point, we don't want all the black background, so let's get rid of that. We double click on layer, and up comes layer styles. If you look at blend if, underneath there, you've got a black point slider, just slide that black point until you've got rid of all evidence of the black. You can go too far and then it just goes. There we go. And press OK. So now I've got rid of the black background. So if I go up here to move, I can move it around to wherever I want it. What I can also do if I press Ctrl and T, what that does, that gives you a free transform. So you can move it. You can rotate it. You can basically do whatever you want with it. So let's have it at a jaunty angle. There we go. And what you then need to do from transform is just press enter because until you press enter, the transform isn't actually um, doesn't actually happen. So you can still move things around. So at this point now, it's fairly fixed in the transform stage anyway. So all I will do is now go up to layer flatten image and there we go there's the signature on the image hope that's useful and i hope people um, have learned something and cover their images with lots of their signatures